The light that we see comes from many different sources, including objects that aren't directly visible to us. For instance, imagine looking at a corner at the base of a wall's edge. Although the wall prevents you from seeing the scene to the right of the corner, you may notice a gradient of light on the ground. This gradient is called a penumbra. The penumbra is caused by the light coming from the obscured scene. In this case, a bright window in the hidden scene causes this phenomenon to be very apparent. But what happens if the scene starts to change, perhaps because people are moving? This can lead to very small but measurable changes in the penumbra. In this work, we demonstrate how to interpret these subtle changes in the penumbra and use them as a camera to see into the scene behind the corner. To show how to use the penumbra to recover the hidden scene, let's take a look at a simple example. Imagine two people, one red and one blue, hidden behind a wall. If you were standing with your shoulder up against the wall, you wouldn't see any of the scene behind the corner. But if you were to slowly move away from the wall, walking in a circle around the corner, you would see more and more of the scene. Eventually, the hidden scene comes fully into view. Just as you would see different parts of the scene standing at different positions around the wall's edge, different points on the ground reflect the integrated light from different parts of the hidden scene. The presence or absence of a person in the scene can make a difference of about a tenth of a percent in the reflected light from the ground. These changes in the penumbra are usually invisible to the naked eye, but by recording the penumbra from afar, we are able to combine information across the video to measure these tiny changes and use them to generate a one-dimensional movie that indicates the changes in the hidden scene over time. Note that in this movie, we are able to reconstruct the angular position of the blue and red people just by looking at the color changes in the light reflected from around the corner. Also notice that we accurately identify that the blue person walks in front of the red person three times before the red person walks in front of the blue. To best illustrate this idea, we have used a bright light to illuminate the hidden people, so that the colors of their clothing are clearly seen in the reconstruction. In our other experiments, we use the light naturally present in the scene. The recovered 1D videos not only tell us the position of the people behind the corner, but also tells us the speed and the manner of their movement, as well as the number of people in the hidden scene. Here, we show reconstructions using the same corner, but when one versus two people are hidden. We have demonstrated that our method works in both indoor and outdoor environments, under a variety of lighting conditions. It also works with a variety of ground surfaces, such as concrete or carpet, as shown here. We have also demonstrated that our method works on tile, brick, linoleum, and hardwood surfaces. We were even able to reconstruct a video of a hidden scene while it was raining. The ability to see around obstructions could prove valuable in a wide range of applications. Our method can be used even when the camera is far away from the corner, such as in these videos. This could help to remotely sense occupants in a difficult to access room, such as during search and rescue operations. Additionally, this method may help us in detecting oncoming vehicles or pedestrians around a corner for automotive collision avoidance systems. Here, we show we are able to detect a young girl playing behind a corner near the street. Such a detection could potentially be used by a car approaching the corner from which the child is otherwise hidden. Our lightweight method allows us to process videos and see what is moving behind a corner in real time. The width of a track recovered from an edge camera often gives us some indication of a hidden person's distance from the corner, which could be used to crudely estimate their two-dimensional position. However, what if the hidden scene were behind a doorway? Could we learn anything more? An open doorway consists of two walls. Each wall of the doorway can be thought of as two adjacent edge cameras, whose combined reconstructions create a 180-degree view of a hidden scene. So, suppose there was a person hidden behind an open doorway. The two sides of the doorway would provide two views of the same hidden scene, but from different positions. The resulting stereo spacetime images could then be used to infer their position in two-dimensional space. We illustrate this idea with someone moving behind a doorway with a flashlight. The moving flashlight causes very obvious lines on the floor, 
which are the shadows cast by the wall's edges. These lines will intersect in the hidden scene at the person's location. Here, we use this approach to infer the position of a hidden subject walking in a room beyond a doorway. Although our results are prone to error due to miscalibrations, in this example, we are able to recover the roughly circular pattern the subject is making as they walk around the room. Thank you! Please see our additional supplementary video for more results.